everybody's minds yeah. and uh, we're thinking about uh, how much we're going to have to hunker down this weekend. Yeah, exciting times ahead and we do have a couple of alerts out there. We do now have a winter storm warning in place. We'll get to that in a second with some snow on the way. Right now we are just above freezing here in Portland. Down the valley though we are warming up uh, pretty fast here. Albany and Salem in the upper 30s to about 40 degrees all help from southerly winds there. Uh, we are watching out for this uh, snow band that has started to warm up and that we're now getting uh, some more rain showers out towards the valley here. It is still moving out of the way and the real storm here comes in later tonight. This is not associated with this latest storm, uh, but a rain band left from the old system. So we're watching for this latest storm. It's up near Seattle now up in Washington there and uh, the metro area and down uh, towards the Puget Sound here. They are getting some snow and this system is going to drop into our region as we head towards uh, the later evening and overnight into Saturday. So we are expecting our own winter storm here as well. And as it moves, it's going to drag that snow with it. So down the I-5 corridor, uh, travel will be very sticky as we head towards our evening as cold air moves in. Again, there's that winter storm warning. Now for our region here in those pinks and down towards uh, parts of the uh, southern parts of the state as well. What we're uh, calling for is about two to four inches of snow all around the metro area. Uh, more areas that are higher in elevation, those neighborhoods out towards the foothills or the west hills there will likely see a bit more snowfall. Again, this is a warning for the I-5 corridor from the Vancouver area down towards the Portland Metro, also including Clark County and out towards the Gorge. We're expecting a lot of snow out that way. And through Saturday, as temperatures stay in the mid to low 30s, overnight will refreeze. We will see some big headaches in terms of driving in the snow with difficult travel even through the weekend here. So we're watching out for that. Let's take a look at our winds. Currently, they're from the south here in Salem. And they look to strengthen as we head towards the evening. So winds from the south are typically warmer. And with that, we'll climb our temperatures today in Portland close to the upper 30s, about 40 degrees here, keeping us pretty warm. So as that system dives in here, we'll be battling those temperatures uh, with the rain. So we are expecting to see some showers working in by the afternoon here in the form of rain. And we do look to cool down heading into tonight. But when we do, we'll really play a big part in when we get that uh, wintry mix or rain snow mix tonight. So I think we'll see uh, maybe some snow flurries mixed in with that rain heading into the midnight hour. This forecast here, uh, our high resolution model is uh, showing us all rainfall, maybe some patchy uh, snowflakes in there too, but it's not until we work our way past midnight that we start to turn that moisture into just snow and going into uh, Saturday morning, likely by about sunrise, we'll see all snow here across the valley. That snow continues into the afternoon. Then we see some snow showers uh, that taper off through Saturday night into Sunday. Maybe in the morning we'll see another snow shower pushing past here uh, through Sunday, but we are looking pretty dry until we hit Sunday night and a Monday, and that next storm system works in here. So as we work our way towards next week, we'll continue with that snowy and cold pattern going on here with a rain snow mix likely for many days heading into next week. Snow totals, that's something that we're looking at. We're looking at multiple models. This is the Euro, which I think is uh, somewhat close to what we'll see heading into tonight. Not much snow accumulation by midnight, but heading into tomorrow morning and through the afternoon, I think we'll hit about uh, two inches or so around the Portland area with locally higher amounts as you look east uh, into Clark County in the gorge closer to four to five inches there maybe Gresham about four inches or so and down the valley Salem may not see any snow at all uh, they may be too warm but close to maybe one inch down in Salem heading into Saturday and then Monday maybe a couple more inches added on to that so here's our planner again looking at cloudy skies with rain showers working in that'll switch to a wintry mix as we head towards our later evening I think the commute will be okay, but after work, get home quickly and maybe prepare for this uh, storm as we wake up to snow tomorrow morning. So maybe hit the store and do some grocery shopping tonight and you know get your milk and eggs and bread so you're mm -hmm. ready for tomorrow. I meant to get a sled yesterday. I didn't have time. I was like, I can do it today. <laughs> uh, I looked at like Lowe's, Home Depot, nothing. Really? Yeah. They're, they're it's all, all they're all uh, Yeah, I wonder how the grocery stores look because up in Seattle where I'm from, all mm -hmm. of my friends have said the stores are just empty because right. folks were preparing for today. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Well I gotta pick up some things on the way home. I gotta yeah. get some sparkling wine or something. <laughs> there sparkling you go. Wine, yeah. Priorities. That'll, that'll get you through. It will. Yeah, we'll be right back.